Hello, welcome to another L-Spec training video on PQ SCADA Sapphire. So in the past, we've done some scheduled IEEE 519 reports. Uh, what we're going to do today is use the scheduler to send out PQ diff files when we have events on our meters. Uh, this is useful if you're using um, some something else that you want to bring these events into um, for reporting or for whatever you want, and you want to use something other than Sapphire. Uh, we have that ability here for you to do that. So we're going to go to our scheduler again. We're going to select new task. And this is going to be an export. And it's going to be a PQ diff export. Uh, the task name, we're going to go ahead and call this pure one uh, PQ diff events. And as you like to know, I always like to put my data in certain places. And I like to name it a certain way. So this gives us the option here to create paths in our folders that are very specific. So I want to call this one by the first folder is going to be the component's name. The second component is going to be the year. And the third folder will be the month, question mark, V, Y, M, and then test it. Make sure you do get the path correct and you do not have any uh, syntax errors in your line. Uh, we're going to do this as an event-based run, so we want it to happen every time we have an event. And we want it to run um, only on event trigger components. Run only on start, run only on end, run on both. Um, we're only going to run this on the end of the event. So once the event's finished, it'll send out the file. This is where you choose the parameters you want. So usually it's going to go be under your power quality. For this, we're going to do SAGs. And we'll do... 12 and uh, let's just throw let's let's just leave it for that so these will be the two events so if we have any sags or swells we're going to get a um, event based pq diff file now the next part of it is we get to choose the component that we want to use so in this case we're going to go down here to our pure Y component um, and choose it. You can choose any of your components on your server, or if you're tagging them, you can just select a tag. So if I wanted to do all of a certain brand of my tags, I could go in here and select my tags in here. And then anytime I added a new meter to that tag file, it would then add um, created some reports for that for that particular meter but for now we're just going to do the solar farm okay so here we've got two different types of parameters we've got high resolution parameters for events and then waveform parameters for events you get to choose your resolution half cycle cycle 50 milliseconds 10 to 12 one second etc um, because these are short sags and swells we're going to do cycle and we want the following data to happen when we get this data. We want to see what happens to the voltage and the current, min, max, and average. Then we also want waveforms, one, two, three, two, three. And we want this to be uh, pretty much as low as possible because we are looking at uh, sags and swells. Um, we just want to see what it looks like. Um, and then here we have an overview of our events that we're going to do. Uh, the task name, the event-based task run, 
Um, if you have text or email set up, you can enable those here. Click finish. Successfully adds the task. And then you'll see right here, it is here. And then the next time there is an event on that meter, it will create a file, place it somewhere and tell you um, it's idle again. So thank you for watching the video. Be sure to click that subscribe button and connect with us on LinkedIn. Thank you. Have a great day.